Hi everyone, for this agronomy update in early June and the season starting to whiz past now, I thought I'd give a review of what I've just played in, which was the Middlesex County Championships. Uh, it was a fantastic event, fantastic three days, and I had two objectives. The first was to get through the qualifying, which after a very shaky, pretty poor start, I managed to get myself together and get through it into the top 16. You then go into two days of match play golf, morning and afternoon, and it's a knockout stage at that point. And I had four fantastic games, really tight, competitive golf, and anyone knows me on the golf course, I am quite competitive and seen as a tough competitor, but I've got to say, all the matches were played in great spirit. And then I came up against Noel Keown in the final, who, again, was another tight game, tight, really tight, uh, but he managed to get up and down the 17, as we were all square, I thought I was just about to go one up playing the last, managed to get up and down, uh, beyond 17 it was just such a challenging shot he had but he played it fantastically and then he went on to win the last didn't it a great shot on the last but there you go but I thought I'd just give you an update because now my background is agronomy uh, I'm purely on the turf side and it's many years since I've played in these events and fortunate enough to win it a few years ago but it's been at least 10 years since I played in it and I would say well done to Ollie and Stan and I don't think people truly appreciate how much intensity and effort and time goes into setting up a golf course and these guys were out at four o'clock in the morning, Friday, Saturday, doing a full course cut. And then on the Sunday, they came in at 5 a.m. So they were well and truly knackered at the end of that. But they set it up fantastically. The greens were firm, fast, you know, running between 12 and a half and 13 feet. But every single pin, apart from one, so 54, not bad one, uh, Ollie. Apart from one, I felt was a little bit on the, on the uh, you know, challenge, too far challenging side. And having played in these events, Sometimes you can set up hard and fast, but if your pins become ridiculous, it's just not enjoyable. But all the players I spoke to loved it. Uh, they really enjoyed all the support by the members. Ricky was just running around like a complete lunatic, like he normally does. But that's a that's a Ealing Golf Club. And the other great thing I loved about it, and I've had many uh, you know smiles to myself over the last 24 hours, was the rules officials trying to handle what they called the Ealing Mob because the crowd was so big. So I'd like to say, well done everyone who competed in it, and uh, that's me done for another 12 years.